number one, draw the shear angle of your diagram of the beam shown in the figure. So, as we can see here, we have this beam with a load of 60 kN and 30 kN. So, first thing that we are going to do is to compute for the reaction that it supports. So, we have to determine the value of the reaction 1 and the reaction 2. In order for us to solve for the value of the reaction 2, so we have to summate moment at R1. So we have summation of moment at R1 is equal to 0, taking the clockwise rotation as positive. So, yung 60 kN will rotate clockwise, that would be positive. So we have your 60 multiplied by the moment arm, that's 2 meters have here the R2, it will rotate counterclockwise, so we have your negative R2 multiplied by the moment arm. So for this, the moment arm is 2 plus 4, so that's 6. And this 30 kN here will rotate clockwise, so it is positive. Multiply by the moment arm, so that's 6 plus 1, so it's 7 this is equal to zero so computing for the value of the r2 we have here 60 times 2 minus 6 x plus 30 times 7 this is equal to zero shift self equals and we have here 55 kilonewton so the value of the r2 is 55 kilonewton since positive yung lumabas na sagot, meaning the assumption for R2 which is directed upward is correct. In order for us to compute for the value of R1, so we have to summate force as vertical is equal to 0, taking the upward direction as positive. So we have here R1 directed upward, minus 60, minus 30, plus the R2 which is equal to 55 kN this is equal to 0. So solving for the value of R1 that we have here, R1, so that's x, minus 60 and 30, so that's 90, plus 55. This is equal to 0. Shift, solve equals, and we have here 35 kN. Since positive lumabas na sagot, meaning the assumption for R1 which is directed upward is correct. So since we already know the value of the R2 and the R1, then let's proceed to the computation. So pagkatapos natin compute yung reaction natin R1 and R2, and ang gagawin natin dito is to make use of the area method in order for us to draw the shear and moment diagram. So at point A, we have here the shear of 35 kN, so that 35 kN is upward so because it's positive. So in here, we have 35. And makikita natin from point A to point B ay wala tayong load, so constant yung tayo dyan. And ibababa tayo ng 60 kN, so that's 35 minus 60, and that, will, and that would give us negative 25. So we have here negative 25 kN. Uh, wala tayong nakikita load sa segment BC so constant lang to hanggang makarating tayo sa point C and we have here negative 25 and iakyat tayo ni R2 which is 55 kN so that would give us 30 kN so inakit niya upward and we have and we don't have load between point C and point D so constant lang tayo dyan and we have here still 30. And this 30 kN downward ay magpapaklose ng ating shear diagram. So, madali siya, di ba, compare doon sa shear and moment function. Pero, hindi sa lahat ng oras kasi there are times na mas madaling gamitin yung shear and moment function. Lalo na kapag higher degree na yung curve natin. And we know that the area of 
the shear diagram is just equal to the moment no at that point so ibig sabihin yung moment natin sa point na to ang moment natin sa point na to is just the area between AB so papangalan na natin tong area 1 this is area 2 and this is area 3 so first yung moment natin at point A is equal to 0 so, start tayo dyan sa zero. And, yung moment natin at point B is just equal to the area from point A to point B. Which, we're in, this is equal to area 1. So, area 1, we have here the height of 35 and the length of 2 meters. So, we have here 35 kilonewton multiplied by 2 meters. So, that would give us... 70 kilonewton meter. So meaning dito, we have here 70 kilonewton meter. Now, since sabi ko dun sa my um, introduction natin, so we have here degree zero, no, na equation. And pag nag-integrate tayo, we have plus one. So meaning dito ay magkakaroon na tayo ng linear equation. And this is a line. No? Degree 1. Okay. So, since the area 2 is negative, therefore, yung moment natin at point C is just equal to moment natin sa point B, mamainusan natin siya ng area uh, between B to C. So, that is just equal to moment at B minus yung area from B to C. So, that is area 2. So we have here the moment at C is equal to the moment at B natin, so that's 70 kilonewton meter, minus yung area natin dito sa BC, that is 25 multiplied by the distance of 4 meters. So we have here 25 kilonewton multiplied by 4 meters. So that would give us uh, 25 times 4 is 100, and this is negative 30 kilonewton meter. So meaning, at point C, we have here negative 30 kilonewton meter. Uh, this is degree 0, so meaning dito ay degree 1. So we just have here a line. And ang moment natin dito sa point D is just equal to the moment at point C plus yung area natin between segment CD. And so we have here the moment at C. Alam natin na yung area natin sa CD is area 3. So we have here the moment at D is equal to the MC. So that's negative 30 kilonewton meter plus yung area 3 natin that is 30 multiplied by the distance which is 1 meter. So we have here 30 kilonewton times 1 meter. So, MD is equal to 0. So, dapat ay mag-close yung ating moment diagram. So, we have here degree 0. So, meaning dito, we have degree 1. And this is just a line. So, ito na ngayon yung ating moment diagram. And kung i-compare natin to dun sa may previous na Solution natin, pareho lang yung shear and moment diagram na na-produce natin.